Hello, how are you doing today? Good, good, very good. My name is Indiella. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> so, you've come in today mm -hmm. because a little bit of unwanted hair, facial hair. Okay, let me just. Alrighty, sweetheart. So we did talk on the phone a little bit and we decided that maybe doing electrolysis would be good for you mm -hmm. and we decided that the reason for that is, did we discuss that um, a little bit or it was quite a few days ago so I kind of, okay. Well electrolysis versus laser hair removal is a little bit different um, if you have brown skin darker pigmented as well as darker pigmented hair um, or facial hair uh, laser uh, hair removal directly uh, goes towards and targets the pigmentation so it works very good with light skinned people that have very little pigmentation um, that have darker hair so um, with electrolysis and we did talk a little bit about this but I just want to make sure you know exactly what's going to be going on okay um, we do have a little needle this this is the little needle it goes into every single one of your pores okay and it will send an electric current through your pore uh, and it reaches down deep enough to get into and touch the hair follicle the hair follicle is where your hair grows from it is the root of the hair okay once you have electrocuted each individual hair follicle root then uh, your hair will not grow back mm -hmm. sometimes this takes a little bit because you can't always get it in the first one sometimes you'll need numerous rounds of treatment but it is the safest for people with darker pigmentation on their skins uh, it is a little bit uh, more time consuming because you're going into each and every one a laser is pretty large considering uh, the size of a pore so if you have a laser you get more um, I guess area surface area within one zip zap um, whereas with electrolysis is very like detail oriented and I have to get into every single hair follicle that we do not want so what happens is um, with this I'm going to go in there start the zippity zap then I need to because I will try and kill the hair follicle it will send a little bit of a shock but I am going to numb you up with a little bit numbing solution okay so I'm going to numb you then it's going to give you a little bit of a shock and then I'm going to have to block the individual hair, okay? Alrighty. And you might not notice the first day uh, because the first time sometimes it you don't really notice a whole bunch but after you do this a few times then it does start to become something that you look at and you say, wow, that is making a very big difference, okay? There's not going to be a straight line or anything where I am taking off the hair. I'd go, um... And kind of jump a little bit all over, but very methodical in my method of jumping. Um, because I do not want you to look like you are getting hair um, removal. You understand okay the next day I do want you to know you will probably have some scabs okay if you get electrocuted um, 
in your pore and I pulled the hair out sometimes the skin will scab mm -hmm. it's not a big deal you can sometimes they just do that I'm not exactly sure why um, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't some people's skin is just a little bit more sensitive than that and it just goes into the regrowth stage immediately you do want to exfoliate very very good okay you need to exfoliate every single time you take a shower except for the day of and the day after okay because they're going to be so raw like your little pores they're not going to hurt they might sting just a little bit but they're not going to hurt very bad okay but you don't want any bacteria or anything like that getting into those open pores um, that are already kind of sensitive or anything like that we don't want you to get any zits or bacterial infections you know what I mean okay so let's uh, let's start numbing you up okay sweetheart I'm gonna put on a couple little gloves are you excited have you had electrolysis done with anyone else? Okay. Yeah, it, you know, people say it hurts really bad, but I used to get it done and that's kind of what led me into this profession. Um, when I was very, very young, I started when I was 12 um, and I kept going until I was, uh, I think 17. Pretty sure that was when I stopped. Um, and I did my mustache and my uh, sideburns because people did call me Elvis um, when I was growing up and it was very very hard and it very very hurt my feelings and so my mother uh, started taking me to uh, her electrolysis um, and it did change how I feel mostly how I felt about myself um, and it is a permanent reduction in hair growth now, um, after a couple years of that, now I just kind of do the whole waxing thing. I have my atom waxer and stuff. But if you're looking for something not temporary and something that lasts a lifetime, this is 100% going to be it. Alrighty. So I have my little cups on. Oops, sorry. These are new gloves and they're a little bit tight. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get a little Q-tip. And I have a numbing solution. Okay. So this is the numbing solution that I have already. This is from the actual pharmacy so that you cannot get this. Um, but it will help a lot okay can you just stand there and go okay right there a little bit good 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 dear a bit right here very good okay very good alrighty so and if you can just open your mouth uh, I'm going to put it under your lip just like that okay good it's going to numb under your lip okay because it does it will hurt um, if I don't numb the inside of your lip I mean it's pretty intensive and a little bit invasive but it's nothing to be scared about especially if you have someone who is numbing you and uh, making it uh, easy for you to get through so alrighty let me get started here and you're going to hear a little bit of a beep okay is that okay okay let's let's do this How did that feel? 
Okay. How is that feeling? Mm -hmm. It's feeling alright. Babe, do I need to pump up the... <sighs> Let me see how can I just... Does, do you feel anything right here when I do this? No? Yeah? Okay. Okay, I don't want you to feel anything. Um, at all because I am going to keep going and this is kind of just what it's like okay I'm going to be going a little bit back and forth between uh, the electrolysis and wiping off your lip. I'm going to reset that. Good. Perfect. Actually, it looks like your hair is actually taking to it really well so I'm not going to have to um, be plucking any of the hairs out sometimes I do have to do that though but right now it's looking really really good how are you feeling okay <laughs> yeah no you're not drooling or anything I know that sometimes when I have my mouth um, what is it called numbed um i start feeling like i'm drooling but you're not don't worry Alrighty. so you can't feel anything still okay good here we go let's continue very beautiful bone structure mm -hmm. have you been told that before you do You shouldn't be hearing any um, sizzling or burning. You should maybe, you, I mean, you could smell maybe a little bit of burning or just a maybe a little bit. But if you don't, that's totally okay. Some people don't. Some people do. 
But if you start feeling a little bit jumpy, tell me, please. Okay. Very good. Nice. Good. Okay. I know I have to be up really close. So I can get those little paws. Good. Very nice. Good. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit of. Do so you have any big trips planned or anything? Maybe. Still looking at stuff. I know how that is too. I'm not touching myself with anything thick. Oh, this hair. Huh? It's in the way. Ready? Very good. So I'm going to let you feel how that feels for a little bit, okay? Gonna do one more little cleaning and wash. How's that? Okay, good. And I'm going to turn that off. Perfect. We're going to give that a little bit of a rest. We're going to give you a little bit of a rest. I'm going to come back a little bit. I just want you to close your eyes and maybe do a little bit of meditating or something. Um, because I want to make sure that everything is going really well with your skin. And so I did that and for a whole hour I'm going to be doing that. But after the first like seven minutes or so, I do like to stop, give your body a few minutes to adjust to see how your body is um, reacting. Some people have bad reactions, some people have okay reactions. I just want to make sure that I don't do anything that's hurting you in any sort of way, okay? So I'll be back in a little bit. And um, if you can just lie down, you can even close your eyes, no big deal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my gloves off. Do you need any water or anything when I will I leave? Okay, no problem. All right, let's see. Ya. It is looking really nice. I'm not touching your skin. I'm just putting my hand up here. I don't want to get anything nasty in your skin at all. So I'm not going to touch you without any gloves. Okay. No, it's looking really nice actually. So I'm gonna let you lie down here for a few moments. And I'm going to put, because some people find it a little bit unsettling, I'm going to put this over your eyes. Is that okay? Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to count. <laughs> 